Virtual reality gives students the ability to experience things they never would be able to in a real environment. For example, a class can go on a virtual field trip anywhere in the world with the teacher as a guide, or create their own enhanced presentations for classes using virtual reality, also known as VR. Medical education is already using VR to train trauma care physicians before they even step foot in the ER. Or VR can be used to connect a group of people in far-flung geographic locations to become one using enhanced teleconferencing technology. Students will be encountering VR in all the areas of life where they currently encounter photos, videos, books, television, and computer applications. VR will become a part of education, work, and play. In the middle school virtual reality deep dive class, students learn how to use 360 degree photos and videos. It also includes augmented reality and complete virtual reality in the form of life-sized holograms. Next, they learn that VR is the next iterations of communicating with pictures, sound, and touch. We've learned about other equipment like hand motions, so you'll have the headset on and um, like remote, so you can touch it too or use your hands in the virtual reality. I can see myself using this in the future, depending on my job. If I was a doctor, I think a lot of doctors will start to use this. It will enhance applications in education, healthcare, business, travel, and entertainment due to its immersive nature and lifelike simulation. Knowing that in class you can sit down but what you're seeing out of your eyes is something totally different. It's kind of going to the part where you're actually in the place. You can be like places that you can be in real life. Students learn to not only consume VR content, but also to begin creating shared experiences with their own VR videos. They use computers, smartphones, headsets for viewing, and 360 degree cameras for filming videos. They also use special software programs such as Google Street View, StorySphere, Flickr Commons, and many more to find virtual reality content and tools from around the world. Right now it's only like the beginning of what they're doing and already they found ways to like um, using it for engineering, for science, and I think in the future it will be used for many things, especially in education as well. I really enjoyed making uh, 360 degree pictures out in the courtyard. After a while, you didn't feel the headset. It was just like you were actually there. It was really interesting to see how doctors could use it to show their students about how the body works without using a cadaver. I'm excited to continue developing this course and integrate VR throughout the entire Wellington learning community. It's been wonderful to see students' excitement and enthusiasm when they realize the potential that virtual reality has in their lives.